Hey what's up folks this is my tiny 8x8 matrix that is made from 64 WS2812 LEDs that are in the 2020 package. This video is gonna be about how I made this matrix from scratch. Also for the build guide you can check out the link given in the video description. So without any further ado let's get started. For the PCB of this project, I first designed the board in my AutoCAD PCB suit by using this schematic and then sent the board to PCB way for samples. I choose the white solder mask with the black cell screen. The PCB arrived in a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. This PCB is very small and I like how the quality of these PCBs were not compromised because of the quantity or the size. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at a less cost. Now the first step is to add solder paste to each component pad. I usually use my good old solder paste dispensing syringe but for this project I choose to get a stencil instead. So I got this stencil from PCBWay. They offer stencil manufacturing service along with PCB services as well. You can combine your PCB order with the stencil and get them together. Here's how we can use this stencil. We first tape the three matrix PCB in a cluster so they would each hold the PCB which is in the center from three side. After making sure that the middle PCB is placed properly and isn't moving, we add the stencil to it and try to locate the pads by moving the stencil over the PCB. When you get a proper and clear view of the pads from the stencil, we can then tape it to the ground so it won't move from its place. Next, we add solder paste to the one side of the stencil and use a scraping tool to apply solder paste through the stencil openings. Solder paste will get in the stencil cutout and fill out each exposed pads. At last, we remove the PCB from its stencil setup and examine if the each pad has been covered with solder paste or not. After applying solder paste, we move on to the next step which is to add components to their assigned location one by one. Now we add the whole circuit to the SMT reflow hot plate that heats the PCB from below up to its melting temperature. As the result, solder paste melts and all the LEDs get soldered to their assigned pads. Next, I added two CON3 header pins that let us attach this matrix board to the breadboard. To drive this mini matrix, I use an Arduino Nano board which I added to the breadboard and connected the matrix with it according to the following wiring diagram. To drive the matrix, we can use two separate libraries like Adafruit NeoPixel library or the Fast LED library. I prefer the Fast LED library for this one as it offers a bunch of example sketches that are easy to edit and use. I use the XY matrix sketch that you can find in the Fast library example sketches. We change the LED pin number in it and then set the width and the height of matrix. Now here's the result. I hope this project was fun. If yes, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Shout out to Tyler Jones for this awesome matrix LED control software. 
I leave the link for his GitHub in the video description. Thanks PCPA for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCP service along with other stencil services for less cost. If you want the whole build guys, then definitely check out the project page. And I'll be back with another project real soon. Peace out.